Hey everybody, it's a cold fall Veterans Day weekend and I am going to forge something because gosh darn it, it's cold and I want to be around a fire. So, I've been thinking about what I should make and I think I want to make like a boar spear or a trident. Probably a boar spear. Well guys, it's dark, it's raining, I'm soaking wet, but I'm done. And it's not too bad. Knocked it out in a couple hours, but I'm gonna put this down, go get some uh, dinner, we'll pick this up again another day. Well, it's been a couple days, now I'm gonna hit it with the angle grinder before I heat treat it. Let's get started. Well, I'm noticing a th few things wrong that I missed. This tine right here is a little caca out to the side. The neck is not centered and is a little asymmetrical. And the blade twists a little bit and there's a few uh, hammer marks that are really quite deep here. And I'm looking at this going, I can't fix that with an angle grinder. So I think I'm gonna put this down for tonight and I think tomorrow I might heat the forge up, stick this back in and just tweak it a little bit. Looking pretty good. Pretty happy with how it's turned out so far. 
One problem though, it is warped a little bit. It's just a little caca right here. Right where the color change is, just kicks off ever so slightly. Other than driving my OCD a little nuts, I don't know if it makes a stitch a difference. And if I reheat treat it, I could potentially open up a lot of other problems. So I don't know if it is worth monkeying with, but I'm gonna think about it while I work on the wood shaft. And uh, by the way, I had a little bit of coal left over, so I made a little steak knife. Hey. This is the piece of wood I'm gonna use to make the shaft of the spear. It's two inches by two inches by almost seven feet tall, and it's a piece of teak. And the cool thing about this is, uh, this was uh, from a naval uh, surplus sale. It's left over from restoring the USS Missouri. Apparently they redid the, uh, the teak decking on the battleship, and this is uh, an end piece, a leftover a piece of scrap from uh, restoring the USS Missouri, which was named the Missouri because that was the home state of President Truman at the time the USS Missouri was commissioned, and it was the battleship where they signed the peace treaty between the US and Japan at the end of World War II. So, fun little fact, and now it's gonna make me an awesome boar spear. All right, I gotta take a little break. Uh, got a jacuzzi being delivered today, so Becca's gonna be very happy. All right, well there's the jacuzzi. Get better get back to work. Oh ho ho, not too bad. While I'm working on this handle, I'm mustering up the courage to reheat and reshape this uh, spearhead. I really wanna do this right, so I'll sleep on it, pick this up tomorrow, and we're gonna keep working on this thing. Well, it's another cold day, and we're gonna finish this spear shaft. The head's fine, that's ready to go. I just need to take a lot of material off this handle. Well, I love this piece of teak. It is an absolutely gorgeous piece of wood and will make an awesome spear shaft. Fits on really nice, like the way it goes, but that warping in the blade is driving me bonkers. Once you put it on the shaft, it really sticks out. You can really see that it's squampus. I'm terrified I'm gonna ruin it, but I'm doing it.
something about these projects that I just love. Look at that thing, that is huge. Very nice piece of wood. I really like using the teak for this handle. All right, let's go stab something. <laughs> I really should have a bunch of ballistic gel lying around or at least a big watermelon, but I don't. But I have a pile of Osage oranges and that's going to do, okay? <laughs> I had so much fun on this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more great foraging videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out the link in the description. We've got a whole playlist full of foraging videos. And we do all types of videos. And we put out new ones every Saturday morning. Don't forget to click subscribe. And if you want to get notified, make sure to click that bell button. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Wah!